Okay, so first we create a new folder. Let's name it data. And then we go and create a new enum class. Let's call this distance enum. We'll add two new enumerators. One is near and one is far. Let's give a description for both of these enumerators saying that the dragon is near and the dragon is far. Now let's go to the dragon pt and go to our uh, previous created method of set blackboard distance. Now we'll check if the distance is less than 800 and if it is true we'll set the enum value before that we need to create a variable called distance with a newly created enumerator value called the distance enum let's set the enumerator value near and if it's false we'll set it as far we then need to set the set a blackboard value of the same so in our controller there's there's a handle called get controller get blackboard get blackboard so this gets the blackboard of the current controller and from this we can set the enum as set value as enum we then need to drag our enum value which is the distance into it now we need to create a new variable called string and name it distance st string let's compile and save this note that you need to provide the name similar to what you pro provide in the blackboard in, in our case it's distance After setting value as enum here, we go back to our behavior tree. And then we go to our blackboard and then create a new enum called distance. So this name should be similar to the one which provided in the string. And then set the enum type as distance enum. So once this is done, Let's go back to our combat behavior tree. Let's create a new selector. Drag the calculate distance to the current selector. And then we need to check if the distance is near for this selector. So we'll create a new selector and add a blackboard decorator and we'll check the distance if it is near. So if the distance is equal to near, we start a task. So we have to start a new task for that. So let's create a new task. Let's name it BT task under underscore plow attack. We'll overwrite the receive tick AI get our control pawn and cast it to a dragon pp and this dragon pp need to call a custom event so for this we need to go back to our dragon pp create a custom event here and name it plot so once that's done let's go back to our task and then call the claw attack event here so once that's created, we'll just finish execute with success. We need to create our gameplay ability system. So for this, let's go to our tool, edit plugins and select gameplay abilities. Let's click on this and then restart our engine. So once the engine is restarted, we'll 
close this plugin and you can cross check if uh, gameplay ability is installed by going to gameplay and seeing that there's a gameplay ability blueprint that means the plugin has been successfully installed now we need to go to a dragon bp and to our dragon character in this class we need to create two public variables with view property visible anywhere and it should be a blueprint read write let it be of type u ability system component in order to use u ability system component you have to have two inputs ability system interface dot h and ability system component dot h we will then have a getter method called get ability system component which basically returns the ability system component let's go to our cpp and then create in the constructor create the ability system component for this you need to add create default sub object of ability system component and in brackets you need to give ability system comp you need to have you need to implement the getter method to called get ability system component with it which returns the ability system comp now create another method with you blueprint callable you function should be blueprint callable and it should be acquire ability this one takes a gameplay ability which basically in the ability system component it will any gameplay ability which is sent will be acquired by the ability system component and you can use it anywhere so once you create acquire ability method check if the ability system component is valid if it's valid you need to check if it has if the character has authority which means if if the character is the one controlling and if it has authority then you use the ability system component and you use the method called give ability where you send in a f gameplay ability spec with ability to acquire so this line basically gives the ability for the ability system component to acquire and you can use this any ability which is sent in so before building compiling the code we need to add two new tags called gameplay abilities and gameplay tags now now so now let's compile the code so it compiled successfully now we go to our dragon underscore bp and then use the function which was blueprint callable called the acquire ability so before that we need to create a new folder called gameplay ability and then we need to create a new gameplay ability class so let's name this ga underscore pro let's save this so we then go to our dragon underscore bp and use the acquire ability class this is a c++ class and we use ga claw as ability to acquire now we have the claw attack custom event we drag our ability system com and use try activate ability by class and use the ability ga underscore claw to activate that basically activates the ability class so in the ability class we have this cost gameplay effect class we have cooldowns we have ability tags so let's give a ability tag as dragon attack claw so cooldown so once we do let's print something like claw attack in our ability class so on playing the dragon enters into combat mode and so before that we need to call the claw attack. So let's call the claw attack as a task. So once the task is being called, let's run the game again. So after the dragon enters into combat mode, you can see that the claw attack debug is being printed. So now we need to add a new decorator called the tag cooldown, and we can give the tag cooldowns dragon attack melee. So this basically checks for dragon attack melee and assigns a cooldown duration of 3 seconds. So if we play the game now, 
as you can see once the dragon enters into combat for every 3 second the claw attack will be triggered so now we need to add a custom animation let's use our claw animation let's duplicate this animation and name it as dragon claw animation we need to then drag it to our ai folder and then we need to create a montage so let's so right click on the dragon claw animation create create anim montage and once you do that you can re uh, name this file Rena after renaming the file you can go back to our ga underscore claw and use play montage and wait and then use the dragon claw montage let's compile and save this and run the game so on running the game instead of the debug command the dragon runs the claw animation so let's summarize so we go to our behavior tree which is the combat pt and in combat pt we have a task called claw attack this task will be called based on based on a service which is the calculate distance this calculates whether the dragon and player are near to each other or far from each other and we set the enum here and once the enum is set we call this particular selector and then the claw attack is called for near once the claw attack we have a drag in our dragon character we have the custom event and this custom event activates the ability by class which is ga underscore claw ga underscore claw is a gameplay ability class and what's a gameplay ability blueprint it basically has a blueprint which is like has ability tags it has a cost gameplay effect class which does damage and other information it has a cooldown effect gameplay effect class which does cooldown and other information and in this gameplay ability class we are just playing the one animation for now we also have the stack cooldown enumerator which basically has a cooldown tag called dragon.attack.mini. 